nostalgic childhood video games. What are your experiences with them, and why are some of them so goddamn uncanny? Let's talk about that certain video subject in the ye olde time of 2009. It was Christmas Day, and I would run excitedly down to the decapitated tree decorated with ornaments. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Lego game, as far as I'm concerned. But I mean, I could talk about Lego for hours. But I won't, because that'll be boring. Let's just say Lego teaches you creativity and resilience. Because uh, you, you, you don't normally get you don't normally get much to work with. Everyone knows this. And this is because they all cost a liver your own intestine, and your firstborn child. You like, you like, s s Sonic? Uh, yeah. <laughs> me, me too. I, I love Sonic. I love Sonic. <laughs> Super Sega fanboy that I am. I have played a total of two Sonic games. Talk about them. Talk about. <laughs> I played Sonic Colors. Ooh, for the DS. Yeah. But again, there's not that much to talk about. I am so sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you boys like Mario Kart. Oh boy, I love me some Mario Karts. I still have fond memories of the Mario Kart DS title theme playing around in my head. he's cool. Cooler than he was in the mainline games, anyway. I have many other Mario Kart memories. Monkeys being funky. Bowser saying offensive racial slurs. And the Luigi's giving off a slightly peeved off look. But I think we all know the real star of the show. The fan favourite of every man of a sports game ever. You know him. You love him. The Lord of War himself. Waluigi. We all love Waluigi. We're all Waluigi lovers here, right? I'm not a Waluigi lover, actually. I love him, but... <laughs> okay. Good. Now let's move on. Next game we have on here is Pikmin 2. It really is too bad Captain Omar can't be here to discuss it with us. Oh, yeah, I, uh, ca I ca can't imagine where he's gone. I haven't seen him. I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. I don't, I don't know. I would talk about how good Pikmin 3 is, and Pikmin 2 is just... That much more chaotic. The main gimmick in Pikmin 2 is the subterranean caves. Everything down here is much more fierce than they are on the surface. Like, really intense. The ball bulbs are fiery, the spiders are armed with armed explosives, and the slugs moo like cows for some reason. I, I, don't, I don't know why that is. That's, uh, that's kind of weird. But the whole game's weird. The whole Pikmin series is weird. That's why I love it so much. It's just so weird. Like me. The fun of it is you never know what you might find in these deep, deep caves. Oh my god, 
giant enemy spider. Wow! That's so, that's so innovative, and so creative, that, that's, that's so cool. That's so really inventive, and wait, what the f- Do you guys want to talk about Animal Crossing? Because I have a lot to say on that series. First off, let's talk about how beautiful my island is. Ah, the locals are just so welcoming. Why not pay them a visit or two? And the views and the scenery are just non chefskis. Mwah! Bellissimo! They even made Channel March on my island, because I'll probably never get real Channel March or monetized. <laughs> Wait till I tell you about the performance. Need I say more? That's Oscar winning worthy right there. New Horizons isn't my first Animal Crossing rodeo. That award goes to Wild World. I hope you enjoyed these video game childhood story thingies.